Well, welcome back to the Meadow International Doubles this weekend of Patonk in the southeast of England. Still in the group stages, but uh, winner of this match will finish top of the group. Scott Ashby, Matt Horrigan against uh, Matt Blyton and David Plumoff. Team Australia, as they're uh, known for today. Having set their allegiance for the result of that other uh, event that's going on this weekend, that uh, English stickball. It's first end, just missed the uh, most of the first balls. First blood to Team Ashby. How many points, Scott? How many? Two. Uh, two points. There's nothing going on on the terrain at the side, so I'm going to shuffle down the other end. So I'm choosing to go long here after a uh, miss throw of the Kosh. The second end, 2-0 uh, to uh, Team Ashby at the moment. Great first ball from uh, Matt Horrigan there. So yeah, winner of this finish top of the group goes through to the main. First missed shot there from uh, Dave Plumoff. And second missed shot as well. So I'm uh, going to close this end down now. Matt Blight and try point in. Cyril Lejou. Fermi la porte. Shut the door. So we're bringing you some more action over this weekend. Got a team event here tomorrow. So yeah, great point there from uh, Matt Blight. It's Nick the, uh, Nick the Jack taking the point. So Scott Ashbury going to uh, take on this shot. Come short, nearly took the jack. Yeah, got it in the second, got the stake. Three plays three now, but uh, Ashby holding two on the ground. We'll be back again this afternoon for the uh, knockout stages. Not sure which matches I'll bring you yet. Probably try and bring you some from the main, but uh, depends if the piece are allocated or where people decide to pick. As, as is often the case with a lot of these uh, terrains, they're not exactly set up for people stood at the end streaming. Uh, missed there from Scott. Another great point from uh, Matt Blyton. Two balls to come from uh, Matt Horrigan for uh, Team Ashby. Two plays two. Matt taking a shot, gets a hit. Both balls go dead out the back. So 
So Matt Hogan, humble left in hand. Of course, uh, the other Matt stepping into the circle now to uh, run for his side. He's playing with uh, Dave Plumoff. He does have one ball left after missing those two shots early in this end. That's another great point from uh, Matt Blyton. So right on the jack. Yeah, gets a miss. Dave now with the opportunity with his last ball to bring his level. Yeah, it's gone wide. It's just a one. Ten point. Before you keep him off. Ten point for Tim Plum off. You keep Ashby. Deux point. Deux. Un. Two one for Tim Ashby. Cam up Blyton point as well as did in the last end. Three great points. If you can start with the uh, same in this end. I could see a really close game. He's done exactly that. So Scott Ashby going to step in that circle and take on the shot. He's clearly been shooting well today. As his team have won both their games. Gets the hit, but uh, doesn't take it off the terrain. Leaving plenty of space though for his partner. It's point into space. So yeah, lots more action to come this weekend. Knockout stages of the doubles this afternoon. And we've got a team event here tomorrow. Where we see teams of four compete against each other. You know what I call a sort of micro Euro Cup format, or Championnat de Club format, where each team plays a triples and a singles, and then two doubles. So Dave uh, gets a hit that time, tries a jack, but towards Max Bull that was shot by a Scott just before. And Matt Horrigan coming up just short there. Of course, Matt Blyton uh, aiming to break his live stream duck. As every match of his that I've streamed is lost. But all of those have been in the north. The uh, Lab British Open, both last year and this year, and also in the uh, northern singles just last week. So I'm sure if it doesn't go his way in this match I'll be getting the blame. Great shot from uh, Dave Plumoff there, clears the ball out nice and cleanly. So two plays three now. Scott getting the promo on Matt's front ball. Has it just rolled out or has it still got the point? It does look like it's just rolled out. <laughs> but maybe we'll see a measure.
No, Scott thinks it's rolled out, so he's going to go again. He's uh, gone for the promo again. On his own ball this time, which he's just nicked. But uh, David suggested that it's still Matt's ball. Yeah, we think they got the one on the ground. Three balls to come. Opportunity for a big end. Yeah, Baz was telling me he's um, played alongside uh, Matt Horrigan a lot in the past. Played a lot of internationals together. Played against him this morning. Uh, as uh, Baz and uh, Christophe Blocon are in the same group. Uh, lost both their games this morning. Lost to Scott and Matt and lost to Matt and uh, Dave. I think if Baz and Christophe get a win in this one they will go through into one of the uh, knockout competitions. The French team doing well. We won both their games. Uh, Thomas and Sebastien of Son uh, Tavatan and La Flèche. But yeah, just uh, just one point still for uh, David and Matt. Un point. De partout. Another hot one today, uh, hotter than yesterday. We're on about 28 degrees now. It's only going to get warmer. A peak at the early 30s. Matt Blyton coming up short with this one. But it's in a good spot. It is in front. It's not a million miles away. Could cause some trouble later on. Yeah, we've all been there, Ian. Well, I don't think I've suffered a three... No, maybe I have suffered a three-end, Fanny. Darkest day was uh, in Hetmanwijk a few years back, Fanny, twice in the same competition. Very early on in my playing career. I've only been playing just less than a year, I think. Uh, good point from Matt Horrigan. Force Dave to shoot. Missed his first, hit the second. And this uh, last group game with the winner going through top. At the Meadow International Doubles. Getting the uh, shot again there. Never hit, but uh, no state. Of course, uh, Matt Blyton's ball at the front, holding the point. We've still got the uh, 
Danish teams from Hadibo here. Yeah, the uh, final ball from uh, Matt Horrigan set right on the cosh there. Matt Blyton with two, Scott Ashbury with three. Matt opt in for the shot. Gets a hit, I think he was hoping for maybe killing the cosh, but it didn't travel far enough. So that's got actually pointing in quite well. Still holding two versus uh, Matt Blyton's one. There's another game going on now in the other lane, so I'm uh, very restricted in what I can cover if once that's going on in the uh, lane on the other terrain is going on behind me, I'm going to have to stick to one end. So Matt's ball just coming up a little bit shy. Scott with an opportunity to make this three now. One on the ground. At two all. Two more makes it three, making it five. It's dead, it's gone over the line. And that one's come up short. So just the one. So three two, two team HP, two two for keep HP. The Aussies on too. going to be uh, a lot of moving around I think in, uh, in this match now we've got games going on in the uh, Tarans either side so yeah Matt's taking it uh, it's 3-2 to Scott so Scott, Scott went You played all three now, David? Yeah, well, we had a buy now. Oh, yeah, the buy, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Won the second and then, and then just, like, just lost. lost. So, uh, just talking to uh, David Blight and then Matt's son. Uh, he's in the group of three, so I've got a buy in his first. Um, Won the second relatively convincingly, but just lost a third to ten. Does have a chance of making it through to the main on best runner-up. But we'll, of course, have to wait for the rest of the results to uh, come through. All four players from the junior squad out today. So 
Scott taking uh, taking out the wrong ball with his shot there. Now opting for the point. But she just fall out the back. So yeah, last ball now from Team Ashby. And uh, Team Plumoff holding five. But Scott's last ball doing the job. So yeah, five balls to come from uh, the Aussies. It's one. That's two. So still three left. Take out that ball, they've got a point on the ground. Shot again. So uh, David not happy with uh, his performance. Might gonna take the shot. That's a miss as well. So I'm opting to point now because if that uh, Jack moves, it's four at the back for uh, Team Ashby. Does nothing, goes nowhere, but that's one to Team Ashby. <laughs> Putting them on four. Before you start. So it's a long one. Must be nine meters. Great start from uh, Matt Horrigan there with his first ball. So David. Uh, so yeah, David. Uh, take on the shot now. Missed all three the last hand. Can't short with that one. Those people want to stream here. <laughs> Matt, Matt's turn the stream off. Yeah. Turn the stream off. That, that aside, it's not really respectable. Great job. So is, uh, is the heat getting to them? Are we going to see Matt Blight and outside? Out point, Matt Horrigan. Almost. Not quite. French team back in action. And it's round just to uh, the left here. Uh, Tom McLean. Yeah, not bad. How are you doing? Definitely not on, is it? No. Oh, this is horrendous. So yeah, Matt Blighton again now. What comes with that? Prends ton temps avec la dernière. Juste là, 
Ah super, bravo. Not you, but for Australian, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll play a little bit. Well, I just played it. I just need to touch it. Yeah, Team come from um, Team Bayern. Uh, one from that one from Dave uh, Plummer. Uh, five to come from the other side. Might be just playing to that park, you might be able to get a, a double promo. Let's come around the other side, which is still a great defensive ball. So yeah, last ball now from uh, Dave Plummer. It's uh, in a decent spot, it's in the line. You might see Scott try and hit that double. Five balls, plays none. He's uh, hit the first one into uh, his teammate's ball. Just cleared it out, leaving uh, the other team on for two. Scott missing again now. So three balls left. Having uh, gifted his opposition two points on the ground, but it's not over yet with three balls left. Kills a jack. Takes two points. So we're going to take the long way around this time as to uh, not disturb the other games. I think that two points puts them on six. Six two. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Decent point. Matt Harrigan, but uh, left a bit of space for Matt Blyton. Good ball, mate. Yeah, great ball from uh, Matt Blyton there, taking What's that the point back. Say? Is everyone saying we're shite? No, not really. It's the other way, we're losing. 5 2. Yeah, I thought that was right. Yeah, but we're losing. Yeah, scores the other way around to uh, what you might see on screen. It's uh, oh, Ashby in the lead. And five, not six. Got the two points that last end, put them on six. It was three two previously, not four two. So Dave hit with his first ball that time. <laughs> And clears, uh, clears the ball out. I think that move from uh, Matt Horrigan just, uh, just taking the point. Oh, 
Other way around, mate. He's already taken. So a measure confirms it. Might be right in there pointing in, but I might be struggling promoting the well. opposition ball even further. <laughs> Matt telling Dave to take on the shot, it gets two, Carroll gets three. What are we calling? Is he going to make it to out to this end? I say yes. There we go. Two on the ground, two in hand, plays the uh, three balls of Scott. <laughs> so Scott in a position to uh, take at least one point, if he forces the opposition to shoot his out. That's one. Can he make it three for three? No, he can't. So that's Bull from uh, the Aussies. Matt Blight and thinking to uh, point out the cost, try and get a bit of movement towards uh, his pool at the back. So yeah, Matt's ball gets there, takes the point, but two to come from Scott. Got a laugh in your you crying. So yeah, last two balls now from Team Ashbit. Looked into point. Looking to try and get some movement on that kosh. Take it to the back where uh, his teammates' balls are, just to the right. And then maybe afterwards shoot off that ball to the left if necessary. But it didn't work out that way. So is he just going to search out the point this time? It's gone. So one point to Team Plumoff. Putting him on three. So it is 5 3. To rate us at a 10 at the moment. To uh, Team Ashbit leading still. I blame the heat and the small scoreboards for me getting the score wrong the last end as you definitely can't read them from the uh, far end of the Tehran. It's definitely that mate. Not as hot as Oz though. Yeah, 
a decent first point from, uh, from Matt Blyton. If the lines are dead, I'm not sure that that jack was legal, but once this next ball comes in, it doesn't matter. That's a superb point from uh, from the other map. <laughs> Dave gets the uh, hit and a caro. Scott now going to try and respond in kind. That's the hit, make some space. I think he would have liked something a little bit better. Uh, Matt Horrigan with another super point. Can plum off, get another super caro. You got the hit, hit the ball. The ball went into uh, his earlier ball at the back. Wasn't it to stay, so not the uh, caro that he was going for, but uh, he's done the job. Teammates pull, Matt Blyton's pull at the front holding the point. So Matt Hogan required to uh, put in a third super point, and that is exactly what has happened. Three out of three. Three out of three for uh, Dave Plumoff. Fortunately, uh, taking the jack, killed the end. But uh, a no scoring end. Means your opponent doesn't get any points either. So it's not the worst outcome. Of course, yeah, these two. Uh, Players in their Australian shirts, not really Australian. Just doing it as a bit of a wind up for the cricket fans out there. But yeah, Australia being on the uh, Southern Hemisphere, very cold there now. It is their winter. But they're not half as, half as cold as ours. Back to Patonk rather than the weather. 5 3 to Team Ashpit. Last end was dead. Men are nulit. Spent that money on holiday yet? Are you going Barbados? I'm not proud of Yeah, Matt Blyton's ball still doing the job. Uh, Oregon's going a little bit long. He's going to point again. He might go for a little bit of movement on that jack. Yeah, he's done the job with uh, the second ball. Dave Plummer found his form with his shooting. That was the last end, an anomaly. Three out of three. Got the hit. Played it towards Matt's first ball. He's going to take this on again. 
five free to Matt. What's the name of the team, Scott? Matt Oregon. Oh, is it? Get another hit there from, uh, from Dave, so that's five in a row now. Two of those are Caros. I'm sure if those are the stats at the end of the game, he'd be happy, but uh, there's quite a few in the first few ends. You should just be able to see the uh, position of the Jack there just under uh, Scott's balls. Because the game's going off in uh, range either side, it's not a lot of space for the players to stand. I love the way you've, uh, the way you've worked out. So Matt Blight and telling Dave to shoot. As he take the point, if they hit, he take two if he stays. Narrow miss. So that breaks his streak. Five in a row before that one. Couldn't make it six. Now we've got two from uh, Matt Blighton to come against Scott Ashby's three. The team Ashby holding one on the ground. Yeah, if you want to see some more of the action that we've been covering at This Is Patonk, check out our website, thisispatonk.com. Visit the Facebook page, give it a like, give it a follow. And see when we go live with the next streams. So let's check out some of the earlier streams and photos from previous events. So yeah, Matt's uh, point did the trick, it was a great point. An equally great shot from Scott to get rid of it. Hi Sarah. Unlucky yesterday with your uh, loss in the final at the uh, Arrow International Triples. Uh, Matt's ball going wild. So two more to come from uh, Scott Ashby now. Leading 5-3, one on the ground, puts them on six. Possible to go to eight. That one's good, that puts them on seven. And that puts them on eight. <clears throat> eight three to Team Ashby. Right. A little bit lower. And this one. I think we'll get a little bit more reaction. Getting a bit closer to the ground. It does make it more difficult for me to see the screen. Oh, Oregon's ball there just... Uh... Oh, as good as some of his earlier ones. Both the mats been pointing particularly well this match. The standard of uh, shooting being... The lesser of the two disciplines, but uh, Matt continues again there with another super point. Of course, we're definitely going to see the shot now from Scott. 
and I'm going to get hit in the face by the jack. It's not bad. Dead end. Luckily no height on the uh, movement of the jack, so uh, didn't get hit in the face. Yeah, another uh, dead end, I'm in another it. Score remains 8 3. And uh, Matt Horrigan pointing better this way than uh, the previous end. Of course, he only played one ball at uh, last end before. It was over. Just coming up short there from uh, Matt Blyton. It's a great ball though, Bull Bata. Yeah. Bastard ball. In front at that distance, it makes you think do you point past it or do you shoot it? Of course, for the opposition. Of course, there's an option to. Uh, and promote it, there's an option to shoot over it. Play the one at the back. Go for the pointing option. Rather going for the promo, or are they just going to try and find that point? Whenever it was, it didn't quite come off. It has come up short. But if they can shift that one at the back, that's two balls in a great spot. Spot this back one. And it's three great balls. Took the jack, killed the end. Not a bad outcome. It's there. <laughs> Came back off the stairs. <laughs> That's all right. Keeps me fit. <laughs> Great tactic, that mate. Well done. <laughs> so yeah, another dead end. Score remains eight, three. We're playing 30 centimetres from these strings. The strings are dead. Local rule of uh, 30 centimetres in for the throw the jack. Bit of a strange one, but. Uh, as many local rules that are. The lanes are quite narrow. Decent move from uh, Matt Horrigan. Goes out the back, but needs a bit of space for the other Matt to do better. As I said earlier, both Matt's pointing well. Continuing to do so, I think uh, the blight and bull is is on. And Scott going to take on this shot. Yeah, 
gets a clean shot. Those balls go out. Matt Blyton now called into action to point again. So he's uh, coming down the other side this time rather than going central. I think he was going to go and try get a little bit more in front of uh, the bull at the back, but uh, didn't quite come off, didn't travel far enough. Of course, has to go again. Yeah, played the uh, played the same line as the first that time, but hit something, travelled out to the side. It's unfortunate, really. C'est la pétanque. Dave Plumoff now called into action to point. He's done well, he's got there. Four plays two. Four balls for uh, Team Ashby. Uh, not quite sure in how many teams. I think it was 26 or 27. It's a decent number. Of course, we've got 16 teams of four tomorrow for the team event. And uh, a miss there from Scott. Still three plays two. Still the ball advantage to uh, Team Ashby. But it's not their ball on the ground that's holding the point. Matt Horrigan, you're going to try and point into that gap now and take this back. It's come short as well. It's got going for the shot again, but. Uh, just gone long, so now two players won the other way. Tim Plum off with two balls in hand. Team Ashby with just the one. Matt Horrigan looking to point under pressure. He's done it. Two balls to come now. And Dave Plum off. Ball at the back is uh, Matt Horrigan's ball. He's got the double. Yeah. He's now got an opportunity for shooting for three, shooting this ball of Matt's at the back. Oh, just missed. Unlucky. Isn't that great double at the front no. takes the one makes it four eight four Ashby So yeah, still in the group stage here. This uh, Meadow International doubles. This uh, Southeast Weekend of Patonk. Winner of this match will finish top of their group. Be guaranteed a position in the main. Lighten's first point going long. Still overall, the, uh, the mats both pointing well. Mm. 
Still space there for uh, Matt Blyton to point in, which he's uh, opted to do, and he's taking it in a nice line in front of uh, Matt Horrigan's. So Scott going to take on this shot. He's got as long as he could take out his partners. Even if he hits, he could hit it into uh, that one. So he needs to clip this. Let's clear it out the side. Got the hit. Done what I called. His partners, but Scott's ball did stay closer than any of the others. Now holding the point. Come on, Matt. Nice and steady, mate. Win the point. So yeah, plenty of space now for uh, Matt Blyton to point into. Perfect. Good position. Well done. He's done exactly that. Three plays four, or four plays three. Uh, four for Team Ashby in hand. Two each. But with that space there, Matt Horrigan's going to try and just nip into it. It's just gone a little bit long. So I think what we might see is, uh, well, there's a couple of options. There's another point. To get something in front and a shot if required. Searching the point now. Three plays three. Movement on the cosh, but moved it closer to. Uh, the opposition ball, but also closer to theirs, so uh, so a shot now leaves him the two if uh, Scott can hit this. He can, and he's uh, also carrowed, so that's three on the ground. But with three to come from uh, Dave Plumoff against the one of Scott. You would favour the Aussies to uh, take something, but you've still got to get it in there. So uh, in the game next door, uh, Baz and Christoph opted to shoot the jack for a win, which is exactly what they did and it came off. It's their first win of the day. I've been lost to both the teams that we are watching now. So a great ball from uh, Dave Plumoff with still one in his hand. Scott Ashby with one ball. Across a clean shot on this ball, still leaves three on the ground for Scott. But taking it away clean will take something special with two of his behind, one to the side. Of course, Dave's first ball did go dead on the string, but. Yeah, Scott got a point. Going to point into it. It's gone through it. So one ball now for Dave. Can I make it two?
Looks like it is. Two points. Puts them on six. So looking much closer now. Still trailing by two, Team Plumoff, but it's eight for Ashby. And six for Plumoff. So uh, Matt's first ball there looked like it was just going to get stopped by a stone. I uh, pushed it out of the way and kept going a little bit, but uh, it's left quite a lot of space. Most of the match is finished now. With uh, everybody doing the sensible thing and sitting in the shade. So yeah, great ball from uh, Matt Horrigan. Dave required to shoot. In between the ball and the jack, almost impossible, but he managed it. And then the casket. Can't get much more unlucky than that. Yeah, to get both of those things happen to you, it's a little bit harsh, but uh, c'est la pétanque. Right, getting a bit of a promo on his front one with uh, the ball he played still travelling up into a decent position. Two plays five, so. Uh, Looks like Dave's going to take on the shot. If he gets a hit and a stay, it's great. If he gets a hit, it's still good. <laughs> so he got the hit, but uh, did move the jack into a little bit more space, which uh, again is uh, a little bit unlucky, but Matt Horrigan still required to come past those two balls front. Can he do it? Yes he can. It's enough. It's not super close but uh, so yeah one place four. David is taking out that rule cleanly. He'd be looking at uh, different tactics employed. But uh, he did move that jack into a little bit of open space, which uh, has put David Matt in not such a great position. Failing by two on six points to uh, Team Ashby's eight. We're just going to go for finding the point. Could go for a bit of a promo. It's a good one. Stopped on the stone. It had travelled a bit further. It had stopped on the ball. But I think it might have taken the point.
So yeah, I think uh, I think he's got the point. We've got a fair few balls to come. That being the first. With three more left. It's nine on the ground. There is an opportunity for game. Scott would need to hit that bull of Matt Blyton's without taking out the bull of Matt Oregon's that's just behind it and stay. It's possible. Uh, they're just going to go for maximum points with least risk by just pointing in. Yeah, because if you can get some movement on that jack, it brings that back one. If Matt's into play, he's going to go for it again. It doesn't have to move far. Still think that's three. Sure, given the angles, if a high lob would be better, try and come over the front one. And that one skipped out dead. Might be three. So we're going to see a measure, but we do think it's three. Yes. How many? Three. Three. Eleven. Steve must be on eleven with those three points. So they've opened up that lead again now. 11-6. Now there's it. It's uh, pretty warm. Especially uh, just stood in the sun. I don't think you feel it as much when you're playing as you're focusing on other things, but uh, stood staring at a screen. Not doing much moving around, does um, you do feel it? So, hopefully, uh, this will be wrapped up pretty quick and I can get in the shade. Yeah, my Oregon bull is uh, not doing much. It's in front, but there's a line open, so uh, Matt Blyton going to try and come in. Eleven six is certainly not over. Yeah, good, uh, good point from uh, Matt Blyton. sure if we've uh, Scott's uh, shot doing just enough. Uh, hi Matt. Do have uh, my this is baton hat on uh, Ian. Uh, this one here. But uh, that only keeps the sun from out my eyes, not from off my neck. Another great point from uh, Matt Blyton. 
But yeah, I could definitely do with an umbrella. Uh, I have got one back in France, but I uh, couldn't bring that on the plane with me. Uh, so I am going to see if uh, anyone here has got a nice big golfing umbrella to uh, keep me in the shade this afternoon. That's another dead end. Yeah, absolutely shameless plug, uh, Ian, but there's no shame when we're uh, doing all this for the views at home. Got to get that brand out there. So Team Plumoff uh, able to place the jack again for the second end in a row. Oregon point in, uh, putting in a great one there, better than uh, the last end. And Matt Blyton saying to uh, partner Dave Plumoff to take on this shot. She's got, of course, uh, Dave's ball travelled over the line, so it's dead. The shot ball stayed on the terrain up near the back. And I've just been hit on the head by some gravel. Yeah, plenty of space for uh, Matt Blyton to point into now. Uh, he's pointed well. He's in a great position and we're uh, definitely going to see a shot from Scott Ashby now. So 11-6 to Team Ashby. Scott getting the hit. Both bulls going dead, but uh, of course, Oregon's bull just out of sight down here holding the point. I oh, will certainly have things like that, Ian, uh, once, we, uh, once we get the new setup. Of course, it's going to be dependent on uh, the venues that we visit, as not every venue will be uh, equipped to support our optimum, se optimum setup. Uh, we will require a power source. Uh, as we've got to run things through a computer but uh, yeah we'll be able to have uh, scoreboards um, potential for uh, on-screen stats but uh, the more things we want to do the more people we need for uh, each event as uh, running the scoreboard running the software the cameras commentating uh, all a little bit too much for just the one person and uh, Matt hits Matt's boot Scott gets the shot. So it is two on the ground for Team Ashby. One in front of the jack that you can see there, the other one right at the back of the terrain. Three plays. Three, I think. Yeah, great point from uh, Matt Blyton. Again, the mats have been fairly consistent, both of them pointing really well. Shoot seem to have warmed up a little bit as well. Certainly getting to the business end of this match now. There we go, commentates curse. Can blame me for that one, Scott. 
So you can blame me for that one, commentator's curse. Just said the shooters seem to have warmed up now and yeah, there you go. <laughs> Great defensive ball from uh, Matt Horrigan. That was the last ball, so uh, miscount from me before. Two plays one. Yeah, we've certainly got a uh, few options uh, Ian regards the sort of multi-camera setups and uh, such like but uh, the optimum thing for us is wanting to improve the quality of the image which you, you just can't get with uh, streaming via a tablet Dave gets the shot which is uh, absolutely superb shot just clearing out that ball well, he's got it in now, he's come past that front one to uh, take two points. She's done, so that's two. And that puts them on eight, closing that gap yet again. Don't worry about it, starving. But yeah, we're going to be looking at uh, improved. It's gone long. Has it gone too long? So we reckon it's good. Yeah, thanks Ian. Uh, it's always good to get feedback on the quality of the stream. Then the problem we have is when we're in places like this and you can't get end to end like I've been able to do in this match. Uh, once you start zooming in on a uh, smartphone or tablet you're looking at a digital zoom rather than an optical zoom uh, to talk technicalities uh, which does degrade the quality of the image that amongst uh, many other things that do cause it to degrade certainly things you want to try and avoid which when you start running things through the softwares that we're looking at uh, can certainly uh, help avoid that. So Matt's first ball there, really good. Scott coming up well short with a shot and bouncing over and going dead. Pretty sure he'll take it on again. Yeah, he gets the carry with that one. Moves the jack a little bit, but it stays, uh, stays live. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, great shot from uh, Scott Ashby there. Even his opponents uh, congratulating him on a great shot. Which, of course, is one of the great things of, uh, of this sport. The camaraderie, not just between uh, playing partners, but also opponents. Decent point from uh, from Matt. It's made the length, but uh, it's a way off. It's an option for a shot. Can't tell you from here, but uh, come on, Matt. One hour twenty. One hour twenty. 
That was a fucking lot longer for me. Yeah, an hour and 20 for this match. So far. Did of course miss the uh, most of the first end, so we can add a couple of minutes on top of that. Yeah, just over an hour of 20 so far for uh, for this game. Pretty close. 11.8 team ash bit. That's a good effort, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Mad just saying today that it was a good effort. Uh, Dave saying it sounded so patronising, but of course it wasn't meant that way. It was a great effort. It's a long way to point and difficult terrain. Two balls to come now. Dave. Trying to play higher. Looked great, but it did hit a stone and uh, just roll out to the side. So uh, one more ball now. Yeah, Got to close this down. And it's come up short. It's made it difficult for him to get in, but uh, four balls to come. And one on the ground. You only need one more in there. So 11 8. 12 on the ground. Four balls to make it 13. It's now a shot for game. <laughs> the shot is there. Going for the point. <laughs> that one's just gone through. Still a shot for game. Two balls to come. Finger, finger so one ball for Scott, one ball for Matt. Popped into point. That one's going nowhere. So three balls played. Can't manage to take that last point. Final ball now to come from Scott Ashby. 11-8, 12 on the ground. A hit on uh, Dave's ball would win the game. Or are they going to go for the point and try and come inside it? Gone for the shot. Unlucky. So it's just the one. Puts them on 12. It's a long way. It's to be 10 after the movement. Not longer. So 
in what I think is now the last match in the group stage. I think all the others are finished. Although no, they just look like there's one more going on. So we've seen a measure here to see uh, see if this has gone too long. Okay. Nine eighty four was that Matt? Nine eighty five. Nine eighty five. So nine meters eighty five. So it's good. Nef met quatre vingt cinq. So it's good. Team Ashby needs one point. Leading 12-8. Winner of this match. Guaranteed a win. Guaranteed the main. Everybody else enjoying the match from the shade. Apart from the two games that are still going on. Great first point from Matt Horrigan. Game on the ground. Puts the pressure on. Is that the match winning ball? this stage it is definitely not because Mark Blyton replies with an absolute super point to so Scott Ashby shooting at 9 meters 85 9 meters 90 to the bull and he gets the hit it's moved it still in play but it's not counting for nothing at the moment Done enough. Putting his teammates pulled back on. Matt Horrigan holding the point for Team Ashby. Game on the ground yet again. Nice Sam, Alan. Come up short with this one. Matt Blyton. Hit something, took the pace out of the ball. It's not made the distance. Okay. Dave now going to take on the shot. With Matt's ball in a decent position in front. Can't get much closer than that. Just to the side, just in front. Fraction to the side would have taken it. See our discussion now, do they go for the shot on the cosh? Three balls in hand, so two attempts. On the back foot, game on the ground. Opting to point. I think Matt wants to get something in sitting on their ball just in front. He's almost done it, but it's gone the wrong side. Nudging it closer. A little bit more spin the other way, and that would have come the right way. They're going for the shot on the ball. It's come up short. It's going to go again. It's got the hit. 
to save the game for the moment. There's no more balls to come. We've got three on the ground. There's four to come. They only need one. 12-8. Team Ashby. Four balls to play. Searching one point. Is this the final end? Matt Horrigan stepping into the circle. Two balls. He's done it with the first. Game over. 13-8. Kill match. What a match. Great game. Awesome, Went all the way. But it was Team Ashby that came out victorious. Matt Blyton continues his live stream duck. Will he get a win while under the lens? Maybe we'll see him in action again later on today. But we'll definitely be back this afternoon bringing you more live coverage of this Meadow International Doubles contest here in Gillingham. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.